Peter Goober is not your typical speaker. Raise your hand if anybody here has ever failed. Raise your right hand. How many people have had their hands up also had pain, embarrassment, or anger from that fail? Put your other hand up. Notice the position you're in. Surrender. <laughs> That's generally what happens. Now when you have success, and we've had it, it's waving your arms. Wave your arms. That's success. Look how close failure and success is. A legend within the entertainment and communications industries, storyman Peter Goober has been studio chief of Columbia Pictures, CEO of Casablanca Record and Filmworks, chairman of Polygram Filmed Entertainment, and chairman and CEO of Sony Entertainment. Currently, he is CEO of Mandalay Entertainment, a multimedia entertainment company. His personal production credits include Rain Man, Batman, Gorillas in the Mist, The Color Purple, Flashdance, and Midnight Express. These films have earned over $3 billion at the box office and have been nominated for more than 50 Academy Awards. A passionate, humorous, and energetic motivator, Goober is a sought-after speaker at global events. Is there a magic sauce, secret sauce, a game changer that shortens that distance, that makes the target closer, that assures more success and more joy and diminishes the pain? Because that's, after all, what we want. The success we gives you joy. It gives you money, but it's joy you really want. And you want to avoid the pain. But neither one is certain. How do you get more certain? How do you take 15 strokes off your game? The magic is our God-given ability to tell oral stories, to our oral narrative power, to influence, empower, empassion others to believe in and act with and to propel for your goal for success. That's the magic. The magic is about making emotional connections. That's what the oral narrative can do for you as a salesperson, as a manager, as an HR person, as an entrepreneur, as an executive, as a team leader, as a team builder. Focusing on the innate human ability to tell stories, Goober shares with audiences across all industries the mindsets and techniques that he has been crafting and honing throughout his life as a master storyteller and successful entrepreneur. What is that magic? I put it into a way you can easily remember it. So I picked five letters, M-A-G-I-C for the magic, so you can see how they work. Magic stands for motivating your audience to your goal, interactively, with great content. M-A-G-I-C, motivate. When you think about motivate, first of all, what do you think about? I'm going to get you to do something. Everyone says that's what motivation is. Mm, don't start there. First question is, are you motivated? The story you're telling yourself about the product, service, brand, or whatever you're doing. Are you motivated? Do you have unconditional intention about it? Because if it does, if you do, you're able to craft a story that's powerful. Every great person Every marginal person trying to get people to do something is going to be confronted with one word. It's a two-letter word, and it's no. And great leaders, great speakers, great storytellers, and that's what you want to, you want to look towards being, they have to be dyslexic. They have to think no means on. Because everybody walks in the office, he, this is what the executives, not that one of the executives, the executives have, just before you walk in, they're going like this, they're practicing. <laughs> A, audience. Don't think of them as listeners, don't think of them as them, and please, please, if they've learned anything, hear anything, experience anything from this chat with you, here's what you don't talk, think of them. As customers, or as patrons, as clients, because this is what customers, patrons, and clients do when you try to tell them to do something. They go like this. They protect the wallet and they're growing. That's the action you want. Your trick, your artifice, this technology, this methodology that I want to share with you is to open up their heart. That's your target. G, goals. Goals are important. They have to be authentic goals, and the best goals are generous, where it's you and me, where we both win. It's not a I win, you lose. You do it, and I win. That goal for your story doesn't work. It just doesn't work. I. Interactive. All storytelling is interactive. You must interface. It's not a you talking to them, it's you talking to each other. The whole concept is it's a conversation. You've got to turn you and him into from me to we. We've got to do that. Turn that M over and think of it as we. 
Because that's what you want to do. You want them to participate in the story. And the more senses of your listeners that you engage in your story, the more of those senses you engage, every kind, the more likely they are to own it. Because when your physiology does something, you own the story. When you tap somebody in a theater, a, a theatrical play or a dance show or something and tap them and laugh together and cry together and clap together, you bond away. They, they feel they're participating in the story. They're part of it. And they can own it because that's the key, to give up proprietorship of your story and let your audience own it so they can tell it, so they can viral market it, not try to hold on to it. C, content. Story is the holy grail. It's the holy grail. The actual story is the holy grail. And finding it is essential to success. And I can't tell you what your story is, but I can tell you where to look. What's the hierarchy? First is your own experience. Do you tell your own story? True story, inspired by story, something that's authentic, congruent. You don't have to remember it. Honesty works. Peter Goober also tailors a speech to leading in uncertain times. So what are those three stakes, those three things that you move through in today's uncertain times, troubled times, scary times? Three words that you have to navigate. Fear, uncertainty, and change. Fear can do two things. It can paralyze you or catalyze you. It is invariably a wake-up call. Most of the time what you have with fear in your journey, that 90% of the time before you move to the end of it and get the result, it doesn't happen. The junk and crap and things that propel you and make you anxious and tight and uncomfortable and, and not be able to act, that fear, 90% of the time, the event doesn't happen. Second navigational stake, uncertainty. Does leadership in your company create management culture of being curious, not critical? Do they, do they think uncertainty is an enemy? In an uncertain world, we're always looking for certainty. You know, all human beings, there are two fundamental needs, certainty and variety. Too much certainty, it's not what the system, the human system can handle. And too much variety, you get crazy. The third element, change. The world is no longer linear. The future is no longer the light of the tunnel where you're trying to get your arms around it. Forget about getting your arms around the future. No possibility. To compete for the future is what we have to do because change is so pervasive and so fast. Competing for the future requires a different theology. Peter Goober is a popular commentator and analyst on a wide range of national network and cable TV television programs. Goober's enjoyed a six-year run as AMC's popular host of its weekly show, Shootout, with over 500 interviews seen in 95 million U.S. homes in 55 countries. Peter Goober is continuously featured in numerous national, local, and industry publications. Goober's game-changing message will be available in a forthcoming book to be published by the Crown Publishing Group. Nope, I'm not a consultant, I'm an apostle, I'm a believer. A believer in this magic. I use it, I succeed with it, I fail with it, I succeed with it more than I fail with it, I have more joy with it than I have pain with it. And I encourage you to believe that the magic is inside of you. Work with some of this methodology, look at it, consider it, and just before you go in, ask yourself, am I motivated? Do I understand the audience? Can I get their attention? Is my goal transparent? Can I make it that way? Am I willing to make it we instead of me interactive? And do I have a good story? Have I done the homework to have a good story? And then let God take care of the detail. Thank you.